what do you do if something grew in that petri dish from your sinuses? Usually that is fungus. A lot of chronic sinusitis comes from fungus that has set up shop in the sinuses and um, you know is continuing just to irritate everything. Now that fungus could be from breathing mold in your environment and that sets up shop, or it can be candida, which is an opportunistic fungus that develops for other reasons. We can do a whole separate video on that. But for now, I just wanna talk about what do you do? You got some fungus showing up on your Petri dish. How do you treat it? Well, this is the bomb. This is a NasoPure rinsing system, and I'm going to show you what to do. So it's different than a neti pot. Some of you may be familiar with a neti pot, and a neti pot has been around for, gosh, hundreds of years. It looks like a little teapot. You put one side in your, you put it in one nostril and then you tip your head over to the side and gravity pulls the saline water, you know, through your sinuses and it drips out the other side into the sink. Now, the reason I'm not a fan of the neti pot is that when you tip like that, your ear canal, your eustachian tube can get water and become irritated. So I like the Naso Pure much better. What you're going to do is just open it up and then you're going to add a salt pack. So it comes with little, uh, little saline packs. If this will let, let me in. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pour the contents of one saline pack into the Naso Pure. Open her up here. There we go. There we go. Now I'm going to get Nigel, the videographer, to kind of help me out here because I don't want to make a huge mess. At home, I have a little funnel that I can use to pour the distilled water in without a lot of it falling. So Nigel's just going to hold this steady for me. Yep. Let's see how well we work as a team here. So I'm going to fill this the rest of the way with distilled water. Look at that. Didn't even need, whoop, need those paper towels a little bit. Not bad. Okay, so you're going to fill it up like that. Leave a little bit of room at the top. Thank you, sir. And then the antifungal part is this fabulous product called Citri Drops. Now, all the mold products I talk about in any of these videos, you can find in the link tree. There will be a link for mold products I talk about in my videos, and all of this is available there. So with the Citri Drops, what you're gonna do is um, just let them drip and I use eight because I've been rinsing for a while. You might start with four and then slowly work yourself up just to be sure, you know, it's not irritating. And then you're going to cap it up. And then you're just gonna shake it all up. And I'm not gonna rinse my sinuses for you on this video, but I'm gonna show you how it works. You open the spout like that and what I love about this, so you're going to place it in one nostril, I'll kind of turn to the side, and then you squeeze the bottle. So you are applying your own pressure. Gravity's not doing it, but it's gonna come out the other nostril. So when you're doing this, you're gonna lean over your sink. You kind of hold your breath with the soft palate at the back of your mouth, you know, so that this doesn't drip down, you know, into your throat. It's not gonna hurt you, but it's not pleasant. And then you squeeze until half the bottle is gone. And then you blow, blow, blow. Do not hold your nose on one side and blow because that can create too much pressure. It's very tempting to do it, but hold yourself back. And then you're going to do the other half in the other side, squeeze and rinse it out and then blow. If the, um, if the fungus that you got on your Petri dish is a lot, I would do this twice a day. If it's moderate amount to just a little bit, you can get away with once a day. It's the citri drops that actually kill the fungus. 
Now, an interesting story, like I told you, I've had my own mold experience of living in a home that developed a very bad aspergillus and penicillium um, mold problem. And I got, you know, my sinuses were really bad. And so I went to a specialist who works strictly with fungal sinusitis. And he's very well known. He, he um, works with people who have lived in mold. And so when I went into his office, one of the first things he does is look with a scope into your sinuses. It's fascinating. You can actually see the fungus growing in your sinuses. And so his answer to that is antifungal medications. At the time, you know, a lot of mold doctors were also saying that you had to do this. And so even though as a naturopath, I shy away from medications when I can, I thought, okay, well, this is a extreme situation. I'm gonna to have to do something about this. Let me try this antifungal. Oh, you guys, I'm very sensitive. It made me feel so sick. So I tried it one time with one antifungal, one time with another one, and I just knew this is not gonna work for me. And so that's when I decided to try the Citri Drops. I did not know if it would work, but I rinsed twice a day. And when I went for my follow-up visit, Lo and behold, that same little camera scope into my sinuses, totally clear, completely cleared it up. So it's really not necessary to use those drugs. You can do it naturally with the Citri Drops. I highly recommend doing that. You may not realize this, but if you have fungus in your sinuses, think about this. There's a very natural low level of post-nasal drip that's always occurring in your body. You just don't even think about it. You swallow every once in a while. Some of that is what's coming from your sinuses. And if there's nothing bad growing in your sinuses, that's no big deal. But what if you have fungus there? Well, as you swallow and it gets into your stomach and your gastrointestinal tract, it can start to cause you problems with your digestion as well. So don't just think about it as a sinus problem. It actually drains deeper and definitely deserves attention. So retest yourself after two or three months of rinsing. Be sure that you're clear and I wish you the best in your mold journey.